here at the centre last year. She's about 11 months old. And she is huge. And she's heavy. And she is a black eagle. And the black eagles come from Africa. They're also known as the Varro eagle. Alan, when, when she comes back here, could you take the yeah, A-frame another sort of 10 metres back that way? It'll make her work a little bit harder. And she just started her training. You might say, how she started her training? When you're flying, when you're flying this bird loose. Well, she's only been loose for about a week. And we're still, we're still very much sort of, she's still very much learning how to fly. And how to? Where are you going? <laughs> we're here. Look, we're here. We're here. Got the ice cream. Come on, that post there. And you can see she's she's sort of trying to think. Where do we go? And it's like with the sake of talking, she thinks there's people there. She's also probably thinking someone here looks very cool. <laughs> and the other, problem, the other problem that I have here as well, which you probably won't be thinking about, is that the wind is coming from this direction. It's only very slightly. But, from there for you, look, that post. And, crash. And she just hasn't yet worked out what these are totally for, what this hand is for. It's, it's a learning, learning process. process. Well, the safety the only way to get her to learn is to bring her down here. And there's not a lot of point if, you, if she's going to become a demonstration bird, a regular demonstration bird, you're doing it when you're not here. Okay? So, it's, this is a learning process. Uh, it really is. I think they're stunning. They are one of my absolute favourite birds. And I don't know of any other establishment in the world that you breed them even have this. And one of the reasons why we have so many birds here, and we're trying to breed them, is because it's very important to learn how to breed them. Because whenever this bird gets to the point where it's nearing the extinction, surely it's a, it's a wise thing to have the knowledge and understand to be able to breed these birds in captivity, captivity to do something about it. So that's really why you have zoos, really. To, to try and ensure some of the rarer animals around the world have some hope of survival because us mankind are quite good at wrecking the planet. Now, where are you going to go? Whoa, we've got a bit of height. This way, look, over here, over here. Look, 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 look,